Welcome back to the Jaco Report. The Missouri House of Representatives has approved a constitutional amendment and some other legislation requiring anybody who wants to vote to produce a government-issued photo ID. Now, supporters say it will prevent vote fraud. Opponents say that kind of vote fraud really doesn't exist and that the proposal is, frankly, racist. Now, tens of thousands of Missouri voters, mostly elderly or minority, don't have photo IDs. And how large is a problem of using a false ID to vote anyway? The only prosecution we could find in the state of Missouri we think it was in 1936 so if something like this happened only once in every 77 years why pass a law about it well supporters of voter id say it's a precaution opponents say it's a way to people to stop people rather who vote democratic from voting at all now we're joined today uh, talking about this by uh representative state representative uh, stacy newman she's a democrat and represents part of clayton richmond heights and ladue we had hoped to be joined today by uh her colleague state representative dan Gosen, a republican who represents the chesterfield area however he never got back to us. We also asked uh, State Representative John Deal, who's the majority leader, to join us because we wanted some people who were actively involved in this. Representative Gosen is on the Elections Committee along with you. Correct. He didn't join us, which means, you know, we apologize if this seems rather one-sided, but one would imagine if you had these folks who voted on a straight, it was a straight party line vote, was it not? Well, it was actually what's a two-parter. Um, it was a bill, and then we also, because of the Supreme Court ruling this unconstitutional in 2006, we also have a resolution that would change the Constitution to even allow it. So, belt injuries type of thing. But if it was a straight party line, I, 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 and I'm not being disingenuous, I would have thought that the Republican members of the legislature from this area, especially someone like Representative Gosen, who's on the Elections Committee and knows this stuff, mm -hmm. if they were willing to vote for a voter ID bill, I thought, you know, they'd be glad to come on here and tell us why it's a problem. Um, now, you've said it's not a problem and that this probably is it's voter suppression in your mind. Explain that. If someone says to me, well, why shouldn't I produce a photo ID when I vote? I produce one all the time. For most people, that's their default position. They reach into their wallet and they flip out their driver's license. Mm -hmm. Problem taken care of. Where, where's the problem in that? Well, the difference is we're talking about a fundamental right, and that's, and that's what's actually tighter in our state constitution, uh, even tighter than the federal constitution, that we have a federal right to be to vote, to make it free, fair, and accessible. And using your driver's license to get on an airplane or to purchase something is not a right. And the problem is we've got um, almost 250,000 Missourians. Now these are long time current registered voters who can't get that, who even don't have that, don't have a driver's license. That's We're talking the elderly, we're talking veterans, we're talking uh, low income who don't need a car, they don't need a driver's license. Um, we're talking out of state college students would be also exempt under this. And it, the problem is you don't just want to just give people, I mean again this is a, a seven million dollar cost to the state uh, per year to even implement this if passed, but it's not about giving people a photo ID, it's that people can't get those underlying documents that is required. Now, wasn't this taken care of by the Supreme Court in all kinds of voting rights cases? I mean, couldn't the same logic be used to get rid of this as it was used to get rid of, say, the poll tax 50, 60 years ago in this state? Well, exactly. I mean, putting it on the ballot for the people to decide to change the Constitution is e extremely dangerous because, if, as Charles, if we put any type of civil rights issue to the well, vote of the people, even today, I'm not sure that any things would pass. Um, but that's what we would have to do in Missouri first. Um, and that's based on the fact that there might be fraud out there and there is no documented case. Now, in the floor debate on this, one of your colleagues from Columbia, Mo, was quoted as saying, you guys might as well try to bring back segregation or Jim Crow. This is a racist bill, pure and simple. That's all this is, and we should be ashamed of ourselves. Do uh, you agree with that? Well, I, we do know, though, in the in the past two years, since you know voter ID has been so popular around the around the country, not just in Missouri, even though we're sort of the, that poster child state, um, we're seeing voter ID regulations go up in in, in uh, Republican legislatures. We're also seeing crackdowns on early voting. Um, 
laws that are already there and there's only one deduction and that is to keep certain people from voting um, it's again people have said it's elected leaders want to choose their voters instead of voters choosing their leaders. All right. Now, during the floor debate, and I hate to have you speak for the Republicans, but since they refused to show up, I guess you're going to have to. Okay. What did they say their reason was? Obviously, they said, no, we're not racist. This isn't voter suppression. But they couldn't point to any instances where anybody had actually fraudulently used an ID to try to vote under somebody else's name. So what was the reasoning? Well, the reason is it wasn't just on the floor, Charles. Like you said, we've, I've been on the elections committee my um, three years, or all my terms in the, in the House. And it's the same argument that comes back over and over again, is that there might be there might be fraud and I actually got the bill sponsor and committee to admit that this fraud is invisible that it might be there and he even called me blind for not seeing this invisible voter fraud now what people hear about sometimes in the media is things that have to do with registration people in air registering for different reasons and if you register Mickey Mouse or a a dog rich they're obviously not going to show up on election day to vote. So confusing those two issues is, is I think, what the other side has been trying to do in the media. Well, I was about to say, in my decades in this business in, in D.C., in New York, in Miami, Chicago, and here, I've covered dozens of stories where Donald Duck is registered to vote. Correct. I have never covered one story where Donald Duck has actually been able to vote or cast a ballot. It's never happened. Exactly. And, and, and that's what the clear distinction is. This bill is actually, because we know it's coming out of the American Legislative Exchange Council, this is a conservative bill. We're seeing all identical bills around the country, like I said, in, in the past two years. And it's designed. It's designed for these certain groups of people who happen to vote Democrat to make it harder for them. Why do you think think uh, folks in the Republican leadership or uh, Representative Gosen, who's on the Elections Committee and knows about this stuff, don't want to talk about it publicly. I mean, they all voted for it. They all speechified on the House floor saying, this is a good idea. We have to do, use this to improve the integrity of the system in case something might happen. And yet, here you are by yourself. Well, exactly. What's going on? And, and uh, well, uh, it's not just today, Charles. I mean, um, every time in committee, we, like I said, it was two separate bills. They were joined together, two separate bill sponsors. So we've had we've had several hearings. Uh, no one, even in in the committee hearings, even showed up in support of this. So it tells you that there is a lot of stuff out there that isn't quite so true. Wait a minute. They're not willing to speak in a public forum or in front of journalists in favor of this. They're only weak. Going to speak in favor of it and vote on the floor of the Missouri House. Well, that's what it appears. But uh, all I know is that we had plenty of people, packed hearing rooms, but people even who would, would be affected, people from St. Louis, who would no longer be able to vote if this if this um, was actually passed. And it's not just passed. Remember, we have to change our Constitution first to allow it. Very serious business. Now, My a, a, a final question then. The Republicans now have a supermajority in both houses. Governor Jay Nixon could veto this. It looks like it could be overridden. I mean, do you think this is actually going to become law? Is actually going to go on the ballot in 2014 to be put on the well, Missouri Constitution? Well, let me explain. It's a, it's kind of a it's a, it's a two-step process. We have a bill that the governor uh, we're assuming will veto once again, as he did in 2011. This bill spells out how it would work. But the first thing that actually has to happen is for this resolution that we passed has to pass the entire has to pass the Senate also. It will go straight from the legislature straight to the ballot unless it's illegally challenged and that would uh, they want it to go on the ballot in November 2014 the only thing that will stop this is if it doesn't get all the way the governor can't stop it secretary of state can't stop it so we have like i said we must change the people must decide do we want to change the constitution to remove a fundamental right a civil right before voter ID would be legal. State Representative Stacy Newman. Representative Newman, a pleasure. Thank you yes. very much for coming Great. in. Thank you, and Charles. State Representative Dan Gosen, if you're out there and watching this, we'd love to see you. We even had a chair here for you. When we return, a look at why St. Louis's murder rate so far this year is 21 times that of New York City. Stay with us, won't you please? The Jacob Report. We'll be back in a moment.